Hey Chucks, welcome back to The Witcher 3. And in the last episode, I tried to, or I walked past this place again and I couldn't figure out how to get up there. And I think we already spent like quite some time in a previous episode to figure out how to get up there. And I, I just couldn't figure it out. So I spent some time off camera. I didn't want you guys to have to watch me again, like have no idea how to get up there. And I figured it out and oh my god, this is embarrassing that I was not able to find that earlier. It is it is pretty simple actually. So we have to go around here to the west side. Oh, can we go through? Oh, we can't go through here. Darn it. So basically we have to go to the west side of it and there's a road going there and on the road there is a part of the broken bridge that fell against the wall so we, we can use that as a small you know incline to walk on and yeah I just have to figure out how to get down there uh, apparently not this direction it's pretty steep so let's just go around call our horse hopefully not get shot in the back again uh, that was not too pleasant when uh, we rode past it the last time. Alright, Roach, come here. And we shall ride past it. And we have to go behind it and... Yeah, to the right of it, there's a small road. And you will see in a second how we can get up there. And then get to that bandit camp. So, we have to go right here, and then we'll go down here, and if you go to the side, oh yes, surprise, there is a, a access way, I can't climb up here, and uh, actually, come on, don't fall, ah, oh, this is retarded. This is not cool, gotta waste my meat again for some glitches, because that was clearly in reach. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. What's up, guys? So that was quick. And, uh, we want to do the Quinn, obviously. I actually want to go over there so we don't fall off the cliff like before. Alright, let's get back here. He's the most dangerous one because, um... Wait, that doesn't, like, stun you or anything? Oh, nice. <laughs> wow, this is the first time I think I saw one of those finisher moves. And, yeah, they are quite, um, intense to say that way. Damn. But it looked, it looked really nice. It was, like, a really nice finishing combo. Um, that was, it added a nice touch. Alright, and, and a lot of blood, obviously. All right, let's see what we have up here now that we finally are able to, to get up here. I mean, I gotta say they have a li nice location up here. It is, you know, you have access to basically everyone like walking past. But let's see what you have stored up here. Any nice things for me? There's an interrogation report and a, a serpentine steel war a sword. Nice, I like that. So what is this interrogation report? There you go. Location, Amavet Fortress. Persons taking part, Sir Ignatius Verius, Bart, the Belif Andreas Bloom, Sir Ignatius Underlings, Camry, Guardi, and Belsi. Suspect, Colgrim, Witcher of the Viper School. Huh. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Vidi, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in the White Orchid. Suspect was detained pending trial. 
Upon detention, he was searched and a diagram for the forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likewise suspected that the accused possesses other such diagrams for the forging of death-dealing implements, though none have been found to date. Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary interrogation with the application of torture. This will take place once the torturer with the proper qualifications has been found. Addendum. It was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colgrim died before this information reached the investigators, for rather than face the baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. So Ignatius agreed and ordered he cleanse the various family crypt of specters. Colgrim never emerged from Sad's uh, crypt. It is highly likely the motley wraiths, specters and evil powers residing therein prove too much for him. So where is this? It is um, the various family crypt of specters. So did that create a quest for us? Because that sounds interesting. Quests. Um, secondary quests. Could I pass? No. Nyelen, fake papers. Missing brother. Oh, so treasure hunts. Um, so search the castle ruins. Found diagrams of all elements of Viper School gear. Find Colgrim's remains. So. While traveling down Trump lands of Valen. The location of said diagrams for crafting legendary equipment once worn by the Viper School of Witchers. Motivated by curiosity and the prospect of acquiring these priceless objects, he decided to pursue his lead. So we should make that our active quest because um, I kind of want to figure out where uh, that one is. So let's see if it's even here. Oh, yeah, it is here. Oh, there's a place of power. Yeah, let's go there. Nice. A uh, great uh, idea that I actually went up there. Um, also, let's take a look at that. Was it a sword that I found? I, th I think I found the diagram to craft a sword. So let's take a look at this. So ah, uh, it, it's so annoying that I have no um, no one that would let me like no armor smith around it. Uh, yeah, no armors because that would be a really good armor that I can craft myself. And where is the? Oh yeah, viper steel sword. Steel sword used when fighting humans. It is forty nine sixty one, so it's ten more damage. It is 50% chance to poison, which is great. 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. That's even better. Uh, but no critical hit damage bonus, which is okay. So the only thing we need is an iron ingot. I think we should totally go back to the blacksmith and get this sword. It is much better. And it is Witcher gear. You know, this is the, the apparently legendary Viper School. And... We obviously want to figure out what happened to them. Uh, and, you know, hopefully wear their gear. Because it seems to be pretty good gear. There's another note. Nope, I do not want to turn this on and off. But I think that's everything we can loot up here. Let's take a look at that note. We, and, and we found a lesser glyph of Igni. We have six of them already. They're worth uh, 1,200. Nice. But nobody has enough money to pay for that. Angly scroll notes. What am I supposed to fucking die for? Temeria? That died for that. So did my three brothers. I went to get them. Fuck all. That's what. Not even a decent burial. Da always said a wise man learns from others' mistakes. So here I am, learning from his. Instead of dying for Temeria, I'm going to rob those who killed Temeria's sons. We've pitched a camp, got us a great spot, middle of the woods, near that old mill. Now we're all set to go out on our first raid. 
I think that was that camp I cleared like just a bit ago. Well, sorry guys. It was it was a bad idea. You all knew the risks. And the Witcher gotcha. Not that I'm like the police, but you know. You attack me, guys. I mean, it's just friendly coming by, asking what's up. Hey there. All right, so we have um, a new quest, and let's eat more meat because we're already low again. And let's figure out what is Come on now. that viper, like that viper school stuff. Um, okay, there's one undiscovered location on the way there, so we can go there, and then up here to that place of power, and fight whatever was in there. But first, let's check out that undiscovered place carefully, because like riding the horse in the f in that dense forest is actually pretty pretty hard. Ah, oh, there's a deserter. So yeah, I'd probably get off the horse to fight that dude. Although I, I saw two already. Let's see how many there are. Okay, I already arrows coming at me. I keep going. Ah, don't don't do too fancy death sequences. Just kill them. All right. Ah, uh, you're. I don't want to be in. I want to kill everyone first before I deal with you. Come on, come closer. Oh, not a good idea. But that worked out rather nicely. Even though I hit the wrong button, I was just dancing around him in the beginning. But actually, that worked out pretty well. Like, you know, dodging. Too much. There, there's no such thing as too much dodging, I think. And maybe also those finishing moves come from... Uh, from like me having better better skills in it. I do not know. They they seem to just occur randomly. So what do we have here? Just a campfire of bandits. A lesser a Chernyobok runestone. Steel plates and money. So let's check what that um what that rune actually does. Place in an empty socket on a sword to improve its traits. I do not have one. Zero attack power. <laughs> so it doesn't do anything. Okay, so I, I guess I just um, sell it. Alright, so we cleared that camp. So let us hey, eat more. Honeycombs. Ah, oh, we probably don't want to use the honeycombs. They're worth a ton of money. So let's take the fried meat to regenerate our. Ah, uh, so the horse's problems coming here. So I'm just gonna run through it um, on foot. It's not that far. And then eat some more um, ham sandwiches. No, fried meat to regenerate my health. I think there were just a few drowners behind this, but. Yeah, I don't really care too much about those. Let's just sprint up there. Back into the village that we um, were like coming to in the very beginning. And actually, to the site of where we did slay that... Uh, that griffin. Alright, how far do we have? Oh yeah, it's quite a bit. So, um, roach this time. All right, there you go. Better, come here. Let's just ride up north. Wait, it's up there. Slow now. Whoa. I guess we just ride uh, straight over there. Through the fields where we did slay the griffin and had already big adventures and we, we dealt with that deserter up there. We found what was in in the the basement of that that uh, house and those deserters were protecting 
And now it's time to deal with whatever is going on here. And it's raped, so we should do yes to Urden. And and check out what's what's going on here. Place of power. So who's should this? From it. Someone died there. Oh, right. You die? No, you didn't. Where are you? Where did you go? I know you're here somewhere. Where are you, Wraith? Up when I drop power. Yes, yeah, so I have to go down there. But yeah, where did that wraith go? I mean, I I don't think it just went downstairs. And did it? Let's take a quick save and then uh, go down there and, and take it from there. I think we have to um, blast it open. Yes, we do. And back to the traps. Because who knows what uh, we're going to encounter down there. Oh, you're back again. Well, her again, I assume. That was it. Where's her body? Oh, we can light this up. Things gonna light up, yeah. Let's see what's going on down here. Just some uh, tons of mushrooms, it seems like. And there's like. Uh, I mean, that was probably one of the, the people who are buried here. The wraith we just had to fight. And... Oh, so Gildorf's sword. Is that the other witcher? That's his Gildorf sword. Let's see how good it is. It is worse than ours. But nonetheless, we can sell it for... Profit. All right, let's just put some light in this place. Light it. Oh, there's one down there as well. Can't like that one up there. So we have here, there's a box here, a Novigrad longsword. That sounds uh, pretty good. I can't light this one either. Apparently not. Can I light this one? Cavalry gauntlets. So, like, people who, who had quite some gear on them were, were dying in here trying to slay that wraith. And I mean, apparently also Witcher died here. So, yeah, I just assume he just took care of the most dangerous ones. And, you know, we just had that one witch, uh, that one uh, wraith that was left... This one. So, like, I mean, what are we looking for? Oh, 
Oh, there's someone. Letter from Witcher Colgrim of the Wiper School. Diagram Serpentine Silver Sword. That's great, so we basically got diagrams with both swords. And letter for Witcher Colgrim. Let's read that. To Ivar Evili, Master Witcher of the Wiper School. I have now found all the legendary diagrams once belonging to our order. Certain complications have arisen, however. On the way back to our keep, I stopped to rest the night in the village in the Temerian borderlands. The blasted peasants decided to make me into their scapegoat and accused me of kidnapping some bar uh, beekeeper's brat. They took me into the local lordling's castle for interrogation, during which they found and confiscated one of the diagrams. But do not fear, I will get it back. They did not find the others. I have invoked to marry in common law and demanded a trial by ordeal instead of submitting to the whims of this baronet. My request was granted, and tomorrow I am to cleanse the baronet's family crypt of wraiths. I expect this will prove little trouble. Perhaps it will already have returned to our keep by the time you receive this letter. Light the furnaces. We'll have some forging to do. Indeed, I have some forging to do, but... Apparently, you couldn't manage that wraith down here. Magic, a place of power. So I assume we we finished that quest. Let's see. Where's the viper? Yeah, viper school gear. Nice. So um, just take a look at the gear that we can craft now. Hopefully. Nope. It's crafting. There you go, crafting. So we have now. Yeah, so the Viper Steel Sword is 10 more and it has poison damage. And then the Serpentine Silver Sword plus 28 more. A more art sign, more chance to poison. And wow, 20% bonus experience from monsters. That is great. So we probably want to go there and force that one. Also, I think we picked up a bunch of stuff. Let's see if that is any good. So, this one is worse. It looks like everything we picked up is worse. Except uh, the cavalry gauntlets are better. So let's use that one. I don't think we have... Oh, we, we have stuff that we can place into our boots. But we probably are better off selling it. Yeah, the other stuff isn't really any better than what we have right now. Alright, that was actually a fun quest. Uh, we also have one um, ability point to spend. And as you've probably guessed, it will go into this ability. And so, precise blows. Points and branch need to unlock are eight. So I think we have to put either into strong attack or into arrow deflecting. Uh, but I have to be parrying. Um, crossbow, I rarely use the crossbow. I mean, e this one sounds good. Uh, adrenaline point loss upon taking damage lowered by 20%. And then in conjunction with this one, which is adrenaline points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity, it, it might actually be worth going that route. All right, let's take a look what's around us. I think um, we got. I think we just check out those two places, and I should cover most of that. There's three more places down here, and I think then we're ready to like continue the story. Uh, those seem to be very close together, so that should be pretty quick. And I think I probably make this uh, a longer episode. Just finishing with all the side quests. So the next episode will start with the... Well, not maybe not necessarily the main story again, but all quests in Valen or in, in that area. Alright, that's right over there. Let's see. Okay, it is a monster nest, which I don't really care about. But what I care about is... What is behind? 
So, and those are once there's others. I mean, I can't do anything. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. I can. I have one of those bombs. Nice. That's actually the first um, nest that I destroyed. All right, ghouls. Where you at? Oh, is that a source of power? This is amazing. Dying, it's humming. Place of power. It's got to be. All right, can we do? Ah, don't hit me. God damn it. Die, yeah, that's your destiny. Swift and precise death through the Witcher. Alright, so... What do we use? Let's... Oh, no, let's use the, the fire one. I'm gonna blow you guys up. Come on! Question is, did I actually uh, block that damage from that guy? I think I did. Alright. So, yeah, sometimes uh, the reach of the weapon is, like, very far. So, I can actually. Um, so, I can actually hit them. Um, while I'm a little further away. And I found another um, source of power. Nice. So the that was the art sign. And the art sign is the tele telekinetic blast. That's great. So our abilities, I think, just get stronger over time and also by, by picking up those. So it's pretty good coming over here. I get one more ability point. Yeah, and I think this ability point will actually go towards uh, focus. Hmm, we'll have to be careful with those because these don't level up. So it's just one that I use and that's it. So probably stick with that area first because this one can actually level up. And... Yeah, the question is, do I, do I try just to get my strong attacks better? You know, dodge an attack and try to get a strong one in, or like deflect an attack and get a strong attack in. Or, I mean, the, the fast ones were, were pretty successful to just go with not losing adrenaline. And I think, yeah, especially if I go with that one. So that would replace the maximum vitality, which is um, kind of... I do not know. Is it just sign mutagens? Um, so the question is, do I go with focus? But all of those are not unlocked yet. So I mean, I I cannot um, use more than three signs right now. And I just had to switch my controller because one of them died. And the second one isn't recognized. Hooray. All right, so let's just use the mouse for, for this part, for deciding what we're going to do. Um, I think... I think go with Battle Trance. Just because um, that seems more like an ability I would benefit of the most right now. And... All right, so we discovered that. I don't, I don't think I can, There's, I mean, I could swim out there, but, yeah, I mean, we're already there, we might as well just try, uh, like, go over there, and after that, we, we just check these three, maybe they're more places of power, and maybe that allows us to, you know, to, to, to level up a bit more. Alright, so... Let's get going. Actually, um, let's set a marker on the map. Let's see if we can actually swim to that place. 
Where is my horse? Give me a roach. We got four more locations to check out before we will continue to Valen. And those guys are friendly. Thank God I wouldn't have expected uh, anyone to be Faster. here. And that's actually a good um, a good idea anyway because right around there, like if we actually um, Slow now. if we actually um, are here, we might as well just go and forge the two swords if we can. Okay, so there are enemies here. And I don't know how bad that's going to be for me. Oh yeah, so can I fight you? Can I fight you guys? Can I? Can you draw the sword? No? Uh, I don't know. Uh, can I fight underwater? I do not know. I mean... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea whether I can't fight those dudes. Um. So yeah, I couldn't draw my sword. Um. Yeah, I have no idea how to fight those dudes. And they're underwater. Can I just... Maybe I can bait them out? Let's try that. Maybe we can, like, get into the water and, like, uh, somehow get them to come out. And then, like, you know, you know, somehow to get, get, try to get them out. Or, uh, maybe, yeah, there's, like, uh, maybe there's just no way to get them out. We just have to be bad. Uh, uh quick, I mean. Just be, like, swim there, get the stuff, and get out. Because they hurt, like, a lot. That is ridiculous how much they hurt. And I couldn't use any of my weapons. So, yeah. So, alright, let, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna... Yeah, because I'm like, if I'm underwater, I can't do anything, right? can use this, but I can't even apply it, right? Yeah. Oh, I can use a ranged weapon, but... Yeah, it doesn't really fire. Oh, now I can use my, my weapon. No, I can't. Yeah. So, I think what I have to do is just... Um... Alright, I think I just swim over there, dive down, see if I can get something, and... Because it, it must be like, um, it must be a, a treasure or something. So there are three enemies over there. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just might give it a, a, a shot. Just like swim there, dive down, um, try to find whatever treasure there is. And, yeah, try to make it back. All right, protective shield. Let's do that. A black one, and uh, let's do it. And hopefully, I don't screw up with the. The diving again because I'm notoriously bad at. Hmm. There's nothing here. Oh, there's something. Go up, 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 damn it. Go up! Pressing the fucking up button. Come on, swim swiftly. Swim, 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 swim. Go! Alright, now I might have to fight them, which is okay. But I can actually fight them, like, outside. Alright, now bring it. 
Even they still, I mean, say they're like level 10s, so they might be pretty dangerous to fight. But, I mean, that seemed to have worked out pretty well. Let's take a look. What did I find there? I found random cavalry boots that are... Yeah, they're um, about the same. That's the only thing I found there? Huh. And some gold, I think. Yeah, that was not worth the, uh, like, the strength of enemies that was, like, going around there. What is up there? Oops. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with you guys. Sorry. Not in the mood for random wolves just annoying me without providing really anything. Alright. Oh, we have quite work to do here. Oops. Quite a lot. I think I just stole something. <laughs> uh, like without actually wanting to steal something. But I think that just happened. So, uh, yeah, we, we crossed off that undiscovered location. And we found the, the sunken... Um, the sunken loot. Maybe there's more. But I really don't feel like risking that. They... They were pretty pretty brutal to deal with. Like, they can kill me in three hits or something. I know, stop eating the honeycombs. They're way too uh, valuable to eat them. Where is edible stuff? Oh, we have nothing else left? Jesus. Oh, no, we do. Tons of it. Um, let's eat bread. <coughs> Alright, before you eat honey. Like the most expensive stuff we have. All right, so three more left. And for those, we have to ride down all the way. I think, oh, actually, we first wanted to go to the garrison, right? But I think we do that um, from the fast travel and broken bridge. So we start here at the custom marker. We'd actually just go to the mill and fast travel down there, which we probably will do. Just because there's, there's right now, we just want to get done with uh, all those side quests so we can, so we can continue. Ah, oh, come on. So we can continue with our uh, main quest line, or at least like in the new area in Valen. And there is a fast travel note. I'm like, you know. So we want to go down here to the abandoned village. And from there on, um, yeah, this was where we actually had to deal with that wraith. And well, that, that sad story uh, about that family. But let's just keep running into the wilderness here and figure out what is that hidden location out there and I hope uh, one of those three at least is a, n a new like power stone so there's already is that a place of power bear yeah Should it's a place it. of power and what is that yeah I don't know what it is it's a bear it's a massive bear let's save the game and take care of this bear we have the protective shield and we just like shoot him. Oh, that dude is beefy. Like, okay, who's really surprised? Oh, and I missed that one. They want to attack me? Really? Oh, was I hurt? That's my vision for worry. So it is a place of power, and like the bear just tore apart that wolf or whatever that was. So that's just wrong. From this place of power, and the Urden sign is better now. Um, let's put this PowerPoint into. 
uh, the battle trance again. But yeah, I feel like uh, we should slay the spear because he's very strong. It seems like it's a very strong um, enemy. So. He's running away. He doesn't really want to fight us. He might give us a bunch of. Um, Bears hit extremely hard. I think uh, what they want to tell us with this is they don't want to harm you. So don't bother them. No, I can't. I'll finish what I started. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, there's no choking around with those dudes. Like, he can easily kill me. But. I will take care of you, dude. When he attacks, he is brutal. There you go. Alright, that... Just one raw meat? Oh my god, are you kidding me? That should have been like 20. Okay, I'm overburdened. Geralt is carrying too many items. If you load, your, if you load yourself down with too much loot, you won't be able to run or sprint. That symbol will appear on your screen to let you know you're overburdened. You can check how much weight you're carrying in the inventory panel. Get rid of unwanted items by throwing them to the ground, selling them, or getting a craftsman to smelt them. If you want to carry more, upgrade your horse's saddlebags. Uh, which we probably um, will slash should do soon. Um, Alright, let's actually do fast travel. Um up to up to the garrison up here and then uh, try to connect fast travel here to that point no I have to fast travel here so um, an ideal and, and just um, dismantle a bunch of stuff uh, sell a bunch of stuff if possible and craft our two new swords that would be amazing actually Lord and I say and I think we also need to buy more supplies, or actually first switch out which supplies I am using. Because, yeah, the honeycombs are way too expensive. Or way too um, valuable to use those for that. Nope, no dropping. Alright, let's go up there, uh, force some swords. And then hopefully be no longer over uh, burdened. And have a bunch of money. And and maybe try to sell the rest of our honeycombs to uh, the, the herbal girl over there, uh, like in, in the middle of the map. And then, like, com like concluding our quest of figuring all, out all the, the places in Barbarians. here. Right, hey, how's it going? Are you and no, um, let's craft some. I Actually, craft something I'm, I'm gonna just uh, sell. Well, let's first say, see how much stuff I need. So for the serpentine silver sword, I need one silver ingot. And for the um, serpentine steel sword, I need one iron ingot. So what I need is one iron ingot and one uh, silver ingot. Perfect. Oh, I might actually miss emerald dust. Hmm. 
So this one gives me 20, plus 20 experience from monsters. And the Serpentine one gives me plus 5 experience from humans and non-humans. Hmm. <laughs> That's a tough decision. Um, the Steel Sword is more powerful, so let me get the Steel Ingots first. And I don't think I can craft Steel Ingots. I am missing... Oh, so we'll play. Silver Inga. I'm missing uh, silver. I need five silver. Let's see if he has raw silver. And he has emerald too, so um, that shouldn't be the issue. He has raw silver five. That is perfect. Pretty pricey. But what don't we do for for a nice shirt? Uh, for a nice sword. So we want a silver ingot. And that should now allow us to craft a Serpentine Silver Sword. And like to craft the Serpentine Steel Sword, we need uh, one Iron Ingot and one Emerald Dust. So I know he has an Emerald Dust. Oh, I can't afford it. Crap. Yeah, let's just sell all that stuff here. Or maybe disassemble it? No, so we can sell like all these things that we don't really need and yeah all the clubs that that doesn't actually I mean maybe it gives us some stuff that we could um, then use later but first let's try to a uh, buy uh, how much is one 500 oh wow yeah I can't afford that and then what's the other one stealing it it's like 12 so I get one stealing it and I have to figure out where to get um, emerald dust. It's probably from rates and, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I guess I just keep selling all the things. I could sell, no, uh, they're only worth 270. Which would get us there. I mean, I, I don't use the, the Igni too much. And yeah, that one doesn't do anything either, basically. So now I can afford one emerald. Yeah, I just don't need more. And I can craft my... Oh, I still can? What am I missing? I want one iron ingot. What did I buy? A steel ingot? Ah, oh, no. Yep, a steel ingot. I need an iron ingot. He doesn't have an iron ingot. Hmm. No, here it has. There you go. One iron ingot. And we still don't have enough. What are we missing? Oh, none of the coin. Oh, he wants what? He wants 1200 gold to forge that for us. No, that can't be. Oh, it's four. This is 45. All right. Is there anything else that I can sell to him that he would buy? Venom extract. Yeah, that's 104. So we need. How much? We need like 25. So I sell. That much to him. 49. That should do it, yeah. So we can craft our new sword. Hell yeah. Alright. Um, actually, I'm gonna just switch so the swords and sell them. Sell the the other two swords right away. So this one and this one. Oh, they both have sockets actually. So I could have put one of those um, glyphs in there, but not that they would have been, you know, insanely to spy? Um, valuable to me. me Alright, let me sell that. It's two swords and I'm back to 41 gold, aka nothing. So long. But I have now my two amazing swords. This is. The, whoop. Yes. Sorry, Gross. guys. Calm down. <laughs> Every go, everybody got like really mad that I drew my sword in here. I mean, which is understandable, ah. right? You know, if you. Uh, if I'm like walking in there and be like, well, let me pull out my sword. Just it's kidding. True. Don't want to attack also you. Just playing. Right. They, they, they don't care. <laughs> it's pretty sort of weird. And yeah, we're, we're going to run out of food for sure. And would I have been able to. 
um, take the liver apart. I think that was the the herbs lady. You carrying something very heavy, huh? Or, or you just you get a weird walk there, no doubt. <laughs> Yeah, I would laugh at that too. I do. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the Broughton Bridge. There are two more locations we have not discovered. So let's figure out what those are and what we can get from them. Let's set the first marker to this one and walk towards it. And can we jump here? Yes, we can. I remember this location. We, um, what did we do? do here um i think we investigated someone getting killed here right, let's go away wolves i really don't want to deal with you right now just absolutely don't care all right let's see what we have back here I mean, I know the oh the griffin nest was up there. Is it, oh, what is this? That's another power stone. That's another power source. Medallion's humming. Yeah. So let's save the game. Um, usually it's protected by something. Place of power. It's gotta be. So I don't know what is protecting this one. Which just in case um, get the Quinn sign up. I don't really trust. Like, those places of power are usually just not protected. Maybe this one is. Well. I think we just found a freebie. Um, again, this one will be put into the battle trance. And that allows us to go to the next one. Um, so this one, which will probably be the next one I'll level up. Uh, precise blows. Increases chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 2% and fast attack critical hit damage by 15%. So that's good for us um, until I figure out how to do the strong attacks. And then we probably want to uh, level up those strong attacks. Just save for a quick so we don't have to do that all over again. And check out that camp over here. Oh crap. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, that was the most important one for now. Tell if you love the gods! Oh crap. Those finishers, like they're they're amazing. But I, I have no idea what is triggering those. So we found another camp of of random dudes it seems. Um they're deserters too. But that didn't look like they you know they were out to loot people. I think they were just like, you know, deserters chilling out here in the middle of nowhere and um, just hiding. More wolf sight there. Go away. Alright, that kinda, uh, that went actually pretty well. Nope. No hitting. Just loot that um, place. Alchemist powder, old bear hide. There's more to loot here, just water. Which right or interesting. Some beer. Wine stone. Interesting. So superior beast oil, so we found that. That's great. Tons of money. Never complain about that. Butter. Alright, it looks like we, we found everything. No, there's there's still a few things up there. Like one chest and that's it all right so I, I think that was pretty successful let's run back 
and fast travel um, to Valen. Where's that fast travel note? It must be up there. Because the quest, uh, the quest we selected is, is I think, um, yeah, it's behind the Rotten Bridge. Is I think in the, oops, is in in Valen or somewhere. So it, it will always um, guide me towards a fast travel note. And yeah, this is the camp I think we um, re we um, researched or something. All right, so where's that note? Apparently these trees are very, very thick and can't walk through them. So I think we actually covered everything out here in White Orchid. And that's great. And we, we, we found two awesome new swords. Uh, we were able to craft it. Um, there's a grindstone to blade sharpen. Huh. So we probably want to travel here and just sharpen our blades. Um, if they're dull, I do not know. I, mean, I don't know if there's an indicator for that. And I just saw that. So let's just check that out real quick and see if we can sharp my blade. Oh, so there was a benefit from like um, freeing that village because now we can sharpen our blade here. All right, to temporarily enhance your weapons. Doing so grants a bonus to the damage dealt by your weapons. Well, that's great. Nice. So does it actually show by how much they were enhanced? 49 to 61. I don't think... I think it was that before. 112 to 138. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if it did actually anything. Maybe it's just by... You know, once you use them, they become... Um, you, know, you have to resharpen them to get them back to their... To their um, damage level. Which would make sense. That, you know, how real swords work. All right, that marks the end of our time in in White Orchid, and we will continue in Valen in the next episode. Thanks so much for sticking around for this super long episode, but we finished everything up in White Orchid, and we will continue in Valen the next time. Thanks so much, and see you next time.